Leon Berger vs. Kane Corso, which one is a better dog breed for you? Leon Berger. This is a massive, muscular worker dog. The head is rectangular in shape, and it is deeper than it is wide. Males heads are typically larger than females. The skull has a slight domed shape. It wears a black mask and has a lengthy muzzle. The black mask should not extend past the brows, it can be up to or above the eyes, but never over the full head. The large nose is always black, with well-defined nostrils. Lips should be black, and they should be tight and dry. Slightly loose flues and occasionally slightly wide hooks of eyes are common in males with a very beautiful head. Because loose FLYWS gather saliva, some guys may drool slightly. In a scissors or level bite, the teeth should come together. Ears are trapezoidal in shape, plump, and hang flat and close to the head. The ear tips are level with the corners of the mouth. The neck is firm and muscular, with no dolap. The water-resistant, medium to long double coat is available in lion yellow, golden to red, red-brown, sand, cream, light yellow, and any combination of those colors, always with a black mask. On the outer coat, all hues may have shorter, medium, or long black points. There may be a small white stripe or patch on the chest, as well as some white hairs on the toes. There is always debate concerning the amount of white that can be used. The FCI standard says like the palm of a hand, however it all depends on whose hand you're talking about. The Leonberger's thick mane gives him a lion-like appearance. Males' manes can take up to four years to form, females' manes are less noticeable than males. Sometimes the rear duck claws are removed. Both the front and back legs are feathered. The bushy tail swings down straight. The foot pads are dark in color. They frequently have webbed feet. Other names, Leo Gentle Lion, Gentle Giant. Cane Corso The Cane Corso Italiano is a medium-sized dog with robust and lengthy muscles that is well-built but graceful. He is quite outstanding, displaying strength, agility, and endurance. The general shape is that of a mesomorphic animal, with a body that is longer than the height at the withers, harmonious in form but disharmonious in profile. The muzzle is extremely wide and deep. The muzzle's width must be about equal to its length, which should be 3.4-10 of the overall length of the head. Its depth is greater than half the length of the muzzle. The anterior face of the muzzle is flat and square due to the parallelism of the muzzle sides, as well as the fullness and width of the entire jaw. The nasal bridge has a rectilinear shape and is rather flat. The upper lips dictate the muzzle's lower side profile, the suborbital region has a very minor chisel. The stop is especially noticeable because to the highly developed and bulging frontal sinuses, as well as the conspicuous superciliary arches. The neck has a little arched shape. The neck is oval in shape, robust, and very muscular. The body is compact, powerful, and musculoskeletal. The skin is somewhat thick. Dulap is almost non-existent on the neck. There must be no wrinkles on the head. The mucous membrane pigment is black. The solace and nails must have a black pigmentation. The coat is short-haired but not smooth, with a vitreous texture, lustrous, adhesive, stiff, and highly dense, with a light layer that thickens in the winter, but never crops up on the covering hair. It has an average length of about 2-2.5 cm. It reaches around 3 cm on the withers, rump, back margin of the thighs, and tail without generating fringes. He hair on the muzzle is very short, silky, and adherent, measuring no more than 1-1.5 cm. Colors available include black, plum gray, slate, light gray, blue slash gray, light fawn, deer fawn, dark fawn, and tubby, very well marked stripes on different shades of fawn and gray. The black or gray mask on the muzzle of fawn and tubby subjects should not extend beyond the eye line. A little white patch on the chest, foot tips, and nose bridge is acceptable. Other names, Cane de Masolo, Sicilian Branchiero, Italian Mastiff,
Temperament Leon Berger The Leon Berger is a vivacious breed. It is bold, intelligent, stable, and loving. It has a pleasant expression. The Leon Berger is a kind and faithful dog, stable and peaceful. Its intelligence is exceptional, as is its loyalty and affection for its family. He has a pleasant demeanor. A well-balanced Leon Berger will be extremely trustworthy and patient, even with the most annoying children. When the situation becomes too stressful for most of these dogs, instead of displaying hostility, the Leon Berger calmly walks away. The majority of these dogs can put up with poor conduct. The Leon Berger does not respond well to severe training methods, patience is required throughout training. Owners must be firm while being cool, confident, and consistent. It is critical to have proper human canine communication. Being an effective watchdog necessitates some specialized training. The Leon Berger, often known as a gentle giant, is earnest, eager, and keen to please, and responds well to training. The Leon Berger gets along well with other dogs. Because this puppy will grow to be a large adult, socialization and training should begin as soon as possible. Teach your dog to respect people by teaching it not to jump, to heal on the leash, and to enter and exit all doors and gates after humans. Many other big breeds are less energetic and coordinated than the Leon Berger. Cane Corso The Cane Corso is a highly intelligent and trainable dog that is very loyal, willing to please, and quiet around the house. He is an unrivaled watch and protection dog because he is active and level-headed. The Cane Corso Italiano is ideal for families with children. They are docile and devoted with their owner, and they are both protective and gentle. The temperament of the Cane Corso is quite stable. It is an excellent watchdog and guard dog. It will not leave the house. They cling to their rulers. If necessary, he transforms into a fearless protector of people, homes, and property. Cane Corsos are not fighting dogs. For hundreds of years, they were bred as powerful working dogs. As a result, they will not go out seeking for a fight, but they will not back down from other dogs who attempt to dominate them. The Cane Corso requires an experienced owner who understands how to assert natural dominance over the dog. If it is not socialized or believes it is higher in the pecking order than humans, it might be violent towards strangers and other dogs. When it is a puppy, it should be carefully socialized. It is strongly advised that these dogs be completely obedience trained. If a cane corso is well trained with an owner who is firm, confident, and consistent in establishing rules for the dog to obey and clearly defining what he can and cannot do, as well as providing adequate daily mental and physical exercise, the cane corso will be a pleasant companion. Learn what makes a dog tick and how to treat his breed correctly. A well-balanced corso, suspicious of strangers but lovely with family, will put up with strangers if the owners are around. When properly raised, the dog should be submissive to all family members. Corso ears were initially trimmed to help them protect sheep from wolves. Their ears are significantly more sensitive than the rest of their bodies. Otherwise, they're nearly painless, so many Corso owners are sometimes unhappy to discover that electric invisible fence containment devices do not discourage their dogs. Height, weight. Leon Berger. Height, males 29 to 31 inches, 74 to 80 centimeters, females 27 to 29 inches, 61 to 74 centimeters. Weight, males 130 to 170 pounds. 59 to 77 kilograms, females 100 to 130 pounds, 45 to 59 kilograms. Cane Corso. Height, males 24 to 27 inches, 64 to 68 centimeters, females 23 to 25 inches, 60 to 64 centimeters. Weight, males 99 to 110 pounds, 45 to 50 kilograms, Females 88 to 99 pounds, 40 to 45 kilograms. Health problems. Leon Berger. 
they are prone to hip dysplasia and other bone diseases slash disorders, as are all big breeds. There are also eyelid abnormalities and bone problems. Possibility of behavioral issues. Cane Corsa. This is a strong dog with the normal bone and joint problems associated with large breeds. Living conditions. Leon Burger. The Leon Burger is not suitable for apartment living. It is quite inactive indoors and prefers at least a huge yard. They love cool conditions and may live indoors or outdoors, but they like to be wherever you are. Cane Corso. If it receives enough exercise, the Cane Corso will do well in an apartment. They will be happy to live outside as long as they have enough shelter. Exercise. Leon Burger. This breed does not require a lot of exercise, but it does require a daily stroll. While on a walk, the dog must be forced to heel beside or behind the person carrying the lead, because a dog's mind believes that the leader leads the way, and that leader must be the human. They like being a part of all family outings and are adaptable to almost any situation. They adore swimming, hiking, and being trained to pull carts and sleds. If you want your Leo to pull carts or go on hikes, you'll have to wait until he's old enough. It is not suggested for dogs under the age of 18 months. Cane Corso. This exceptionally active breed requires a lot of exercise on a daily basis. They make wonderful jogging buddies and should be taken for at least one long, brisk daily walk if not run every day. Life Expectancy Leon Berger About 9 to 15 years, with an average age of 11 years. Cane Corso About 10 to 11 years. Litter Size Leon Berger Puppies ranging from 6 to 14 in number. The size of a Leo's litter varies tremendously. They are noted for having huge litters, with a record of 18 healthy puppies. Cane Corso. Approximately 4 to 6 puppies. Grooming. Leon Burger. Brushing is required once a week. Ears must be kept clean, and teeth must be cleaned as needed. Bathe only when absolutely essential. Some dematting is required to avoid hot spots. The hot areas are caused by moisture and damp slash wet weather conditions. Mats can be found behind the ears, on the legs, and on the tail. The Leon Burger sheds heavily periodically, during this time, the dog should be handled and combed regularly. Cane Corso The Cane Corso is a low-maintenance breed. Comb and brush your hair on a regular basis to remove dead hair. This breed sheds very little. Some cane corsos may drool or slobber, particularly in hot conditions or after drinking. Origin Leon Burger The German breeder Heinrich Essien created this breed in 1846 in Leonberg, Germany, in the region of Wurtemberg from across of the Newfoundland, St. Bernard, and Great Pyrenees. Heinrich Essien's purpose was to create a breed that resembled the appearance of a lion. Many royal families have owned Leon Burgers, including Napoleon II of France, Empress Elizabeth of Austria, the Prince of Wales, Emperor Napoleon II, Bismarck, and Italian King Umberto. Many Leon Burgers were transported to Russia in the 19th century. The World Wars nearly wiped it out, as they did many other breeds. Only a few dogs remained by the conclusion of World War II. Several Germans gathered some of the last remaining Leon Burgers in 1945 and re-established the breed. The Leon Burger has regained prominence in Europe today. In 1949, the official standard was established. In 1971, the first Leon Burger was imported into the United States. This adaptable breed has proven to be effective in livestock guarding, search and rescue, obedience, water rescue, tracking, and as a family companion. Cane Corso The original Cane Corso breed is the Cane Corso Italiano. It was invented in Italy. It's linked to the Neapolitan Mastiff. He has been a treasured companion of the Italic peoples for many years. Used as a property, cattle, and personal security dog, as well as for hunting. 
he just discovered a great preservation area in southern Italy, particularly in Paglia, Lucania, and Sunio. Cane Corso translates to running dog in Italian. Corso means course and cane means dog. Coursing is a sport in which dogs pursue game by sight rather than scent. In 2008, the cane Corso was approved into the AKC's miscellaneous division. Group Both breeds is classified as Mastiff. Recognition Leon Berger ACA equals American Canine Association Incorporated ACR equals American Canine Registry AKC equals American Kennel Club APRI equals American Pet Registry Incorporated CKC equals Canadian Kennel Club CKC equals Continental Kennel Club DRA equals Dog Registry of America Incorporated FCI equals Federation Sinologic International KCGB equals Kennel Club of Great Britain NAPR equals North American Purebred Registry Incorporated NKC equals National Kennel Club and ZKC equals New Zealand Kennel Club. Cane Corso. ACA equals American Canine Association Incorporated ACR equals American Canine Registry AKC equals American Kennel Club APRI equals American Pet Registry. Incorporated DRA equals Dog Registry of America. Incorporated FCI equals Federation Sinologic International NAPR equals North American Purebred Registry, Incorporated NKC equals National Kennel Club.